Welcome to the Jackson Cloud. I'm Jamin. I'm Casey. And I'm Olivia. And welcome to the new Jackson Cloud room, we think, if this goes well. We'll see. Time will tell. Uh, but hey, we are in a series on Revelation, and today is no different, except we have moved in to Revelation... Seven? Cinco. <laughs> oh, five. Even better. I had to better. think about it. <laughs> I was going to say siete, but that's not right. That's seven, so I would have been right if you would have said siete. No, you both would have been wrong. Siete, that's the revelation number of the day. <laughs> Get it? Because seven. Okay, um, anyways, we're moving through Revelation. Today's episode, I shouldn't even say it, will probably be a short one. And now I have ensured that it will be 40 minutes. Uh, today we are going to hop into Revelation 5, and right at the beginning we come across the scrolls. Ooh, Elder Scrolls? No. You all have no, been playing been too many that's video games lately. Yeah. Do you need to get this out of your system? No, nope. I'm not playing it. Because I brought it up for 4.5 seconds the other day, and it didn't stop for an hour between everybody else. No, no, it, oh it only went for like 30 minutes. It's mm. fine. Yep, okay. Well, Revelation 5.1. Then I saw on the right hand of him who was seated on the throne a scroll written within and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or look into it. And I began to weep loudly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. Okay, we'll continue this journey here, but thought today we'd talk about scrolls a little bit. Reminds um, me of a song, those lyrics. Or those... Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a good song. Andrew Peterson, right? Mm -hmm. Good, good jam. Do you feel the world is broken? We do. Oh, okay. Hey, it's the we do. They could do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as far as like contextually biblical songs turn, like scripture turn into songs, that, that one, that one's great. Lyrically. I like the melody too. We do. Anyways, now I forgot what the scrolls, the scrolls. All right, so we don't really use scrolls anymore today, unless you guys are super hipster. <laughs> Not any more hipster than you, Jamin. Yeah, that's pretty hard to do. We have books and stuff, right? But uh, do we? Oh, look, there's one book. There's, there's two. two. Two, there's Sorry, two. Sorry, I couldn't see it from... Yeah, we use books today, which they were just starting to kind of have around the time that Revelation was written. But for the most part, um, scrolls had been commonplace throughout history and all that, so... Yeah, at this point, the only time you hear about a scroll is if you're seeing the start of a Star Wars film. Because it's scrolling? Mm-hmm. Not sure that... You know how people scroll through lots of things, right? I know, if but you're it was... going to use it as a verb. I... We scroll through Facebook or TikTok I mean, or I... Twitter. Yes, but it was just like seeing a scrolling text is usually, I, I think of Star Wars first. Because of the opening scroll. Because they have an opening. Anyways, the, the scrolls in the Bible. <laughs> Fine, Elder Scrolls. I'll go back to that one if you force me to. No. I thought we would shortly pause in this episode to talk about scrolls because we just never talk about scrolls. So when we're saying scroll, you know, we're thinking of paper wrapped around a thingamajig or circled up. Isn't um, it a dowel is what it's called? Yeah, probably. And uh, uh, in this particular case, it's got seven seals on it. So do you have any... What do you mean by seven seals? Like, Is it like the... <laughs> <white>? <laughs> Hey, that's a me joke. Um, seal, seal. <laughs> no, I meant like wax what seal. What was John on exactly? <laughs> and then at the throne, I saw a lamb and some seals. <laughs> Sorry, where were we? So talking wax seal. Ab talking about seals. Wax. Are they seals. are they thinking about like it being wax seals? 
Um, I think what they had at the time was more made out of clay, but uh, yeah, it was it's of the variety where you're thinking, you know, gluey type thing that's holding it all together. Because like I could also think of like a latch being a seal. So like if they figured out a way to put yeah, the but latch, yeah, that's not as cool. It is if it's a book. Book with a latch on it, but it's Pretty a cool. scroll. <laughs> well, it people actually do argue as if this was a book or a scroll based on the language. If you must know, Olivia, which I'm sure you're through. So we had to take that moment to talk about scrolls and how they're different from books, just so that you could come back and say it might <laughs> actually be, be a, a book. book. I'm zooming in on it being a scroll, but I'm saying scholars do fight about it, and I don't really understand what the point of fighting about this particular word is. Says the man who started the fight. Okay, whether it's a scroll a or point. a book, we're going to hone in on the seals. All right? <laughs> so... Let's bring it together. As far as the seals go, um, what you, you've already mentioned, you know, we're thinking like either wax or clay or something that they could use at their time is kind of gluing the thing shut. There's seven of them, which is our magical number in Revelation. So what would you think that's implying based on some of the things we talked about with seven? If you can remember that far back. That Jesus is the one who can open them. Yep. Or it's complete, it's finished, um, the fullness is there of authority, things like that. We did a whole episode on seven, go watch that if you want to dive deeper into all the different meanings it brings about. Um, but also an interesting thing in olden times was uh, royal documents and whatnot that would be sealed up often were sealed in front of seven witnesses. So because this is like a document from the royal throne, if you will... And it's got the seal of God upon it. We now have these, like, you could be thinking the seven witnesses watching God seal it up type thing. Why do they have seven witnesses? Well, think of it as, like, a notary. Right? Do you have to have, like, seven people sign for certain documents and stuff? Like a marriage certificate, you have to sign it. The person you're marrying has to sign it. The person who married you has to sign it. And then you have to have two witnesses sign it. Which is especially a big deal when you're looking at, like, royalty type stuff, right? Because, I mean, this is, like, the password of the ancient world. <laughs> Whose signet is on it, and, like, has it been tampered with? Has it been opened? Or a stamp, right? Think of a stamp, I think. <laughs> go on. I mean, kind of. Let's, when you're talking yeah, wax seals, you have, like, your little... Um, signet thing that you use but like it's essentially like a stamp mm. you know it presses in a pattern yeah and you can tell if it's been tampered with i mean if somebody's pulled it off you're you're gonna be able to tell uh so like in an ancient world where somebody's like take this letter to somebody make sure that's sealed i want to know that nobody read it before you delivered it to the only person who was allowed to read it because this is a secret message um things like that would uh we should be thinking of that level of like secretness with this because this is the uh, for the rest of revelation they're going to be popping off seals mm -hmm. and things are going to happen <laughs> popping off seals <laughs> they're going to be popping off these seals and things are going to happen that have to do with like the progression of where all time is going where god's taking it so with all that being said, it becomes like a very important document that nobody else is around, allowed to read except Jesus. Um, and every time he pops a seal off of it, we get one closer glimpse at, at what's coming up next. And that might, I don't remember this fully, that might be why some people think it's a book. Because it like pop off a seal and now I can read a little bit of it. Um, whereas a scroll you would think like seven seals along one page maybe i don't know well they could if it was wrapped put the seal inside of it and then keep wrapping mm -hmm. and they could do it that way think of like i mean i would think of like a rubber band or a paper clip getting inserted into the scroll and like clamping down whatever's continued on yeah and i think we also have like a call back i want to say to ezekiel yeah ezekiel 2 9 um, when I looked, behold, a hand was stretched out to me, and behold, a scroll of a book was in it. Of course, now we have 
book and scrolls as one thing. And it spread out before me, and it had writing on the front and the back, just like this one. Civil War, Holy and, Edition, scroll versus book. And then Ezekiel says, and there were written on it the words of lamentation and mourning and woe. Guess what's on this scroll? <laughs> <laughs> the same thing? There's a lot of lamentation and mourning and, and woe. Because every time something's popped off, it's like the world seems to collapse yeah. a little bit more. Uh, that Satan seems to take another step forward. Things get a little tougher. So with all that being said, this when we're looking at when John's pulling from Ezekiel, he's seeing this scroll that has a lamentation and mourning and woe, which we're going to see over the next 20 chapters or so. And on top of that, there's also going to be, it's written on front and back, which I feel like that can be helpful to us 2,000 years later. <laughs> when you think of the scroll, like, oh man, the end's almost here. What's, what's going to happen? <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh, there's a lot more time to go before we get to the end of this thing. Yeah. But. It's packed. And, uh, what's the format of reading that? Do you go all the way down or is it continued? Like, you have to, like, flip it for every sentence and go back. No, you would keep writing. And if you ran out of space, which I think wasn't supposed to be the norm with scrolls back then, but it could happen, then you flip it over and just keep going. So, unless you want to pull out another scroll. But this one's for Jesus. He breaks off seven seals one by one. Things happen. And as he does, you know, we just keep going and there's more and more to be more and more to be said. But this is like a special message. Um, important documents would get these kinds of seals and witnesses and whatnot, including wills, which is interesting to think about. Is this Jesus's will? You know, like he's about to take his own <laughs> his own will now that he's died. But now he's come. I, I don't know, Olivia. I'm just going with the flow here. Can, give, give me a break. Um, whatever the case is, this is an intense scene because nobody in the room can open it. And you got to remember where we are. 24 elders, right? The deacons of the heavens are here along with, uh, um, along with these four living creatures that can move God wherever. They've all got crowns. We're thinking someone's got to be able to open this up here. And yet no one can. And that's part of why John starts weeping. He's like, are we ever going to know what's going to happen? Or like where this goes? Or can nobody seriously open this? Like this is just, sorry guys, Revelation 5, the end. <laughs> so what you're saying is John was left on a cliffhanger. He and was. He, and he wanted to figure out what it was that happened next. And that is where we go next time. Or in two episodes. I don't remember. Coming soon. You're on a cliffhanger. What will happen next? On the Jackson Cloud. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I forgot what my thing was to say. I don't remember. Join us on the Discord. Ah, uh, right. Join us on the Discord. Because, well, yeah. We're having problems. Because... <laughs>